Hispanic Heritage Month continues, and we'll hear from several crusaders about what it means to them and a family tradition from one of our students. The choirs will perform in the Sacred Music Concert tonight, and some choir members stop by the studio to talk about their big event. The Red and Gold Show starts now. Crusaders, welcome to the Red and Gold Show. I'm Zoe Adcock. And I'm Zachary Denise. And we're bringing you the news from the 007 studio. Cezina's choirs will perform at the annual Sacred Music Concert at 6.30 at Holy Spirit Catholic Church. This year's theme is Be a Light. The group will perform songs by Robert Ray, Peter Lufkin, and Lauren Daigle, to name a few. With that in mind, we invited a couple of choir students to the 007 studio to talk about tonight's concert. Hi, Maya and Alex. Thanks for stopping by the 007 studio this morning. A couple questions about your choir performance. So the Sacred Music Concert is happening tonight at Holy Spirit. What have the choirs been doing to prepare for it? Um, so we've been practicing the songs for a really long time, since the beginning of the school year. So I think we're all ready. I think it's going to be a really good show. And Alexis, what songs can we expect to hear tonight? Um, we have four songs and there's a couple of Awesome. Okay. Which song is your favorite and why? Um, I like... Lord bless and keep you. You know, it's a it's a classic. Um, I think everybody loves that one. It's short and sweet, but everybody everybody likes it. All right, all right. And Alexis, I hear the music director from Holy Spirit will be playing piano with you in the concert. He's the guy who plays masses here at Cecina. Will he add to the concert? Uh, yeah, I think he will. Usually, we don't get all the background of the piano music because we're sitting in the concert. Room. Yeah. All right. I think he will too. How does it feel knowing you'll be performing in front of a crowd tonight? Are you nervous or excited? It's a little, it makes me a little nervous, but I think since there's a lot of us, it won't be too bad. I think, I think it'll be fun. And Alexis, why should people come to the Holy Spirit tonight? Um, to hear great music. Good answers. Thanks for joining us, and good luck with the concert tonight, guys. Thank you. There you have it, Crusaders. Admission is free, so come out to support the music program and enjoy some beautiful singing. Stuco will host another Crazy Friday tomorrow. This time, the proceeds will help the junior class adopt families for Christmas. Students and staff will be allowed to dress out with a $2 donation. The donations will be collected at the East Gym doors and the main entrance, starting at 7.30 a.m. Students will be given a wristband. Be sure to follow all the dress out rules. Speaking of tomorrow, that's also the end of the first grading period. Please check your grades for any missing assignments and contact your teachers with any questions. Don't forget, the Great Indy Cleanup will be in Christian Park next month, and you could be a part of it. Volunteers will meet at the Christian Park Family Community Center on Saturday from 8 to 11 a.m. The goal is to make a difference by picking up the litter throughout the Christian Park community. Please consider joining this worthy cause. Now let's head over to Liam for today's Crusader Sports. It was a tough night for our Crusader teams in the city tournaments. The boys' soccer team lost to Heritage Christian in the city tournament. The, vo the volleyball team lost to Bishop Chatard in the city tournament at semifinals in five games. Tonight, the freshman volleyball team will host Covenant Christian at 5 p.m. The girls' soccer team will play University in the first round at sectionals. The game will be played at Triton Central at 7 p.m. Good luck tonight, Crusaders. In other sports news, a swimming call-out meeting will be held today after school in the cafeteria. If you're interested in swimming this year, please attend the meeting. That's it for today's sports. Back to Zoe and Zach for more news. Thanks, Liam. Students, don't forget, you can submit your photo for the Louis Tuck Shop Modeling Contest through Sunday. 20 students will be featured in modeling materials in their stores and online. And the two top models will receive scholarships. Use the link in our video description to submit your photo and good luck. I will be participating in that contest. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. We're continuing to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month and we're going all out today with multiple crusaders sharing what it means to them and another student sharing a cultural tradition her family observes. First, let's hear from some crusaders about who has influenced them the most and what this month means to them. Who is someone of Hispanic heritage that inspires you? I'd say my mom is my biggest inspiration just because you know she's always been there for me. She's my biggest role model and we spend a lot of time together. And what does Hispanic Heritage Month mean to you? Uh, I think it's a just the time to look like where I came from, you know, be proud of my, my heritage, you know, 
a lot of important people come from Hispanic origin, so it's a good time to admire, admire that. Who is someone of Hispanic heritage that inspires you? Uh, probably my mom or my grandma because uh, they are Spanish both and they care, take care of me since I was a child. The same? Um, probably my mother or my father because they are two Spanish que nacieron en España y me han cuidado toda mi vida. Lo mismo. What is something that resonates with you about your culture? Ah, sí. Uh, maybe the tradition. Maybe the Spanish tradition like the grapes on Christmas or we do some festivities that here is deep, very different? Uh, I think everything in the Spanish culture is different from here, so everyone should know more about this culture. Thanks for sharing your thoughts. Annie Shimeo Coyo shares a tradition her family does every year in honor of their town's patron saint, San Francisco. They invite every saint that is a patron saint of various towns around where her family lives. People from their town dress up as these saints each year. When the saints arrive, they are greeted with kisses, signs of the cross, and other personal greetings. They go to the various altars, which are also called ofrendas, and they thank the town for inviting them, and they are given a present. They do Las Manitas, which is singing happy birthday to San Francisco, because he is the saint of the town where her family lives. After they greet everyone and sing and pray, during the prayer, San Francisco changes his outer cape and they make a new wand or pull of flowers and tamales to leave for him. After all of that, they have mariachis and a band to sing for them. And they eat a breakfast of tamales, bread, and hot chocolate. After the celebration, everyone goes to the celebratory mass in honor of San Francisco on his patron saint day. The celebration continues throughout the evening with more food, including a cake. People decide who will represent San Francisco for the next year. There are other ceremonies and traditions too, with so many people celebrating. <laughs> Looks like a lot of fun, and thank you for sharing, Annie. Let's check out our lunch menu for the next couple of days. Tomorrow, we'll have a calzone with mixed veggies. On Monday, the 18th, we'll have a meatball sub with cheese, potatoes, and carrots. Please note that all menu items are subject, subject to change based on availability. Now, let's see who's celebrating her birthday. Happy birthday, everyone. That's it for today's news. Stay classy. And give that little extra.